Let us start today with assignment number 6, standard template library for searching and sorting of user defined record in C++. So we have to create a user defined record and we have to perform searching and sorting using standard template library. So we are going to use vectors to implement this assignment and this is group C, sixth assignment in OOP. Now what is the statement which is given in syllabus is write C++ program using STL for sorting and searching user defined records such as personal records which will include name, date of birth, telephone number etc using vector container. It is specified that we have to use vector container or we can write a same kind of a program using STL for sorting and searching user defined records such as item records. Okay, so here in this particular example, we are going to implement a personal record of a student with role number, name and telephone number etc. You can add uh, the, uh, the elements or the variables as per your requirements in it. Now what are the steps which uh, we need to follow in it? The first is creating a record of a student using a class. So we have to create a class student in which we will add some variables such as role number, name, marks, telephone number, date of birth, etc. So as per your requirement, you take the variables. The second thing we have to do is creating objects using vectors. So we have to use vectors. It is mentioned in the statement in the syllabus that we have to use the vectors. The third thing is adding record in the vector uh, by overloading stream uh, extraction operator and displaying records by overloading stream e uh, insertion operator. Okay, so uh, three and four, these are for adding the records and displaying the record. The fifth is searching record using find member function. So this is a member function which we can apply on vectors. So we'll be using find function. And sixth is sorting the records using sort member function, which is also available um, with these vectors. So, so many uh, inbuilt member functions are available if we are using vectors. So, one by one we will see this. So, this is all about what is uh, expected in this assignment. Let us see how to implement this. Now, I will start with the main function as per the requirement. Now, as you can see here, line number 110 we started with main function in which I am declaring a vector s so s is a name of a vector so what is a type of a vector it is a student student is a type of a vector that means there is a class student in this program and for that class I am creating a vector s we will see what are the contents of this student vector Okay, now uh, next is uh, a menu driven program is created. The first option is create record, second is display record, third is searching a record, and fourth is sorting the record. So, these four options we have to use. So, for these four operations, four different functions are implemented. For case one, that is creating a record, here the read function is implemented for displaying the record print function is implemented for searching the record search function is implemented and for sorting uh, sort function and after sorting again display is done using print function this completes the main function now let us uh, go to the student class because we must know what is a class which is used here now uh, before going to the class, you can see here various header files are included. So here we are using vectors. So that is the reason we have included this vector header file. IO string as we need for all programs. Then string for some string operations will need this. And algorithm is needed for using as we are using inbuilt function for searching and sorting. Those are supported by this algorithm dot h header file that is the reason we are including this otherwise this program will not work now this class student consists of variables such as roll number name and mobile number so 
I am taking only three variables. If you want, you can increase number of variables in it. Now, uh, next, what member function we have here? Line number twenty-three. We are overloading the the uh, equal to equal to operator because this function, this operator overloading, will be required by the search record function. Okay, so you just remember here by uh, overloading this equal to operator we are comparing two roll numbers because based on the roll numbers only we are going to search the record that is the reason why this function is written line number 29 here again uh, operator oh, we are overloading the stream insertion and stream extraction operator for reading and writing the contents from the user so the first this line number 20 Nine, the operator to display the student record on the screen. So if I say C out, and then this operator, and then S one, that it should display all the variables from that S one. So S one is an object; it will contain the roll number, name, and mobile number. So that is the reason we have written this function. Now similarly, to uh, accept the complete record from the user, this operator is overloaded. now how this is overloaded it is already covered in the first assignment so i am just uh, elaborating this here line number 37 here we are displaying the record of the student by overloading stream insertion operator so that means we are displaying this on the screen so this out is a object of o stream that means it will display something on the screen right so out and then uh the roll number k dot roll number k dot name and k dot mobile number so k is a object which is passed to this operator uh, overloaded operator it will display content of it and it is uh, returning this uh, out object okay similarly here line number 43 for reading the data from the user this operator is overloaded stream extraction operator so by using this A single line C in and S one. S one is an object of student class. Will execute all these lines, which is written inside this overloading function. This is overloading the operators. That is stream insertion and stream extraction. Now, let us see which function we are calling in case one. Because I want to create the record, so I am calling a read function. Let us see what is done in the read. so this is a read line number 55 inside that i am taking one temporary variable for just for loop then student k k is a object of type student again i am declaring a vector j okay so this is the vector in which i am adding the element and then i am returning this to the main function so the message which is displayed to the screen is enter the total number of student you want to add n is num total number of student i want to add suppose user entered 3 so this loop will execute for three times then i am saying c in k so k is a object of student so it will accept roll number name and mobile number because this operator is overloaded the c in operator is overloaded see here a line number 43 so it will accept all three that is roll number name and mob mobile number now whatever data i have read through this k will be added to the vector how by using push back function so push underscore back is a function which is supported by vectors to add the element to the vector so here we have created the vector of type student okay so vector is a sequential storage we have created and how to add data to it by using push underscore back function so this is a inbuilt function supported by vector now whatever vector i have created i will return that to the main function suppose to uh, the user has added five records so it will execute this push back five times and it will insert five records so new record is always added to the end of the vector okay so this way it will create the vector and it will return j that means created vector to the main function now this completes our first option that is read this one now let us see how to print so print function is here
you can see here line number 76 there is a print function to which the vector j is passed and see out this this is the uh, header which is displayed now for each is a function which executes from uh, the first parameter to the second parameter j dot begin means what from first parameter of the vector to the last parameter of the vector execute this third parameter what is third parameter it is another function so this for underscore each function will execute this print function those many times how many times suppose i have five records so it will execute five times okay so from start that is from begin to the end it will call print function and what is written inside print function we are passing uh, we are calling it with the help of j so uh, we are catching it as k and we are displaying that single record but if i have five record it will get executed five times so it will call this print function five times from begin to end and all records will be displayed on the screen so combinedly this print and print function both are displaying the records this completes the second option that is print now let us go for a third option that is a search so for searching again there is a inbuilt function called as a find so this is line number 85 where the search operation starts here we are passing vector j okay this is a address of j now enter student roll number to search now we should ask user that which roll number you want to search so uh, it is stored in k dot roll number now we have taken iterator p because we want to iterate through the vector vector will start from some value say 1 to 10 suppose 10 records are there then this p will point to 1 to 10 it will trace it that is the reason why we are calling it as a iterator now p equal to find j dot begin to j dot end and what to find k okay what is there inside k inside k we have the roll number which we want to search okay now to support this find function it will it will compare the roll number it will compare the roll number to the record so that is the reason why this double equal to line number 23 double equal to operator is overloaded this roll number is compared to the second roll number which is given to right hand side now why we need to overload this because this find is an inbuilt function which compares which doesn't compare to objects so by overloading this operator double equal to we are making this find function to compare element of the object that is the reason this double equal to sign is used now let us again go to the function this p equal to find from beginning to end search for the k if k is if p is not equal to j dot end that means if p is not reached up to the end then that means the record is found so p is pointing to the record so we are displaying with the help of star p now star p will display all the contents of it name roll number and phone number okay mobile number whatever we have display if this p reaches up to the end that means record not found that is the reason in the else we have written not found this is how searching is done now let us see what is the last option third option that is a fourth uh, that is sort okay how to sort the given records now let us go to the sort function this is line number 99 sort function we have so line number 104 in the sort function we are passing vector okay so here the vector uh, sort is a inbuilt function which is supported by a member function supported by vector which sorts the given built-in data types but here we are applying this sort to the record user defined record so we need to do some changes that means the first parameter to the sort function is where to start so start at the beginning 
the second parameter where to end so j dot end means up to the last record we have to perform the sort and how to sort using sort function now this sort function is written over here line number 99 this sorting will be done based on the roll number if x dot roll number is less than y dot roll number and accordingly it will sort now why we have written such a way in this because we are instructing this sort function to sort based on roll number and it is in uh, it should be in ascending order because this sign is given if you reverse this less than sign will make it greater than sign it will sort by descending order okay so this is how the sort function should be used sort start from the beginning end up to the end and how to sort by using sort function that means in ascending order now as we are applying it to user define uh, user define values that is class or the object we need to specify that how to do the sorting okay so this is how a sorting is done this is all about the all options of the this program let us see what output it gives this is what the output the menu we have displayed let us give first option and create three records now roll number i am giving as 103 Okay, so we have created the record let us see what records we have created by giving display option three records we have these records are not in sorted order let us check the third option that is searching the record so we'll give the roll number to search and once that roll uh, number is found the record is displayed you can see here let us sort it using fourth option this is the sorted records these are the sorted records okay 101 102 103 this is how we can implement assignment number 6